What's up YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with another video. And this time we're going to take a look at ungraded, loose, complete figures. I think it's all figures here. I, I, the thumbnail might be wrong. I, I don't think I have any vehicles in this one. But lots of really good figures here and lots of pretty decent deals that are out there on near mint condition or better uh, vintage Star Wars figures. So I want to dig into those. Also, I want to say thanks again to those of you that reached out while I had COVID. I did test negative for it a couple of days ago, so I've been getting back in the gym, and I actually ran nine miles today after having COVID, so I, that makes me feel pretty good, the fact that I was able to kind of get back in there and, and get back to my usual routine, but I, I appreciate all those that reached out to you, and um, also, I want to mention that we're getting near Christmas, okay, and if you guys want t-shirts or sweatshirts, I do have the uh, AFG branded t-shirts and sweatshirts, stuff like that over on my website, actionfiguregrader.com. Uh, it's run through Teespring, and they just handle all fulfillment and printing of those. So if you have a desire to get one of those, now's a pretty good time, and uh, they're up on my website, actionfiguregrader.com. All right, let's dig into some awesome items here. Uh, first of all, I've got another Tuscan Raider. I really love looking at Tuscan Raider prices because it makes me want to just buy them and get them graded myself. Uh, this was a really nice dark brown paint variant. Look how clean the horns and the eyes and the cheek pieces are on this one. This was a really, really beautiful example. Uh, just fantastic shape. The negative is the back. Uh, as you can see here, it started to have that discoloration on the cape. So, you know, unless you, can, unless you have a replacement cape, to me, you know, it's really tough to find those capes in good condition. They just, there's, they scratch up really easily. And this is an example of that where the figure itself, I mean, the, the face paint and everything is in fantastic shape, but the cape is not. And so if you do have extra capes, that's one way to do it is just to find a really nice near mint example of one with a bad cape. You know, this one sold for 46 bucks plus 490 shipping. A near mint plus example with a really good cape can be, you know, close to double that price pretty easily. So, uh, you know, it's just something to keep in mind is that there are great figures out there, but you really got to take a look at some of these accessories. And this cape is an example of where that degradation started to happen. Now, it might be dirt. You know, I want to get that out of the way here. You know, this, this could be dirt that could clean off pretty easily with like a nice microfiber towel or just a light toothbrush with soap and water. So maybe that's salvageable. I don't know. But uh, that is a common problem with the Tuscan Raiders, that cape starts to kind of discolor. Uh, next up, I got a, a uh, Han Solo, and this is the large head Han. This one sold for 32 bucks plus 620 shipping. I've got one of these coming back from uh, Collector Archive Services here soon. And uh, the most notable defects can be on the white shirt, as you can see here, and on the hands, and then on the belt buckle. This is probably like an overall at best, maybe an 80. It might, it might clean up to like an 80 plus, but probably like an 80 grade. But uh, that gives you a, a good baseline price for one. Now, the mine that scored a CAS 85 Hong Kong COO, I picked it up on Facebook, and I think I paid $50 shipped for it. And it scored an 85 with CAS. So we'll all unbox that when my big batch comes back here soon. But uh, anyway, just another kind of lower data point there. Uh, here's another one. This is the small head. And this one looked to be in great shape. I still need to get one of these. It had a little bit of kind of discoloration. You know, th this photo might show it that it hasn't been cleaned yet. You know, oftentimes just soap water and a toothbrush or a Q-tip can clean these figures up quite a bit more. Uh, but that one sold for $57 plus $5 shipping. Um, again, I think you can probably get closer to 80 or 85 bucks if it's like pristine example, uh, but that one did sell for $57. Uh, here was a really clean example of a Taiwan Boba Fett. This one sold for 100 bucks plus $5 shipping. Uh, really nice looking example here. Let's see if we can get a zoom in on it. That's a beautiful example. Look how clean and crisp the paint is on that one. Really nice. I'm assuming that's the correct V5 blaster. I don't know. I, I, don't, I didn't kind of zoom in on it that closely, but... Uh, the figure itself is absolutely a Taiwan. It's got that dark, kind of almost blackish brown belt. But look how clean the armor is on that one. So I can see why that sold for a hundred bucks. That's that's a really clean example. You know, um, a, a typical Hong Kong. You're probably looking at more like seventy to eighty bucks. So to get the harder to find Taiwan in that kind of condition for a hundred bucks seems like a right price. Uh, here was a nice looking Snaggletooth, blue Snaggletooth, and um, you know this is probably like a seventy-five, maybe eighty grade. Tough to find in really clean condition. The torso hasn't really discolored that much yet. It did have some wear on the boots. Just very slight wear here and there on the figure. But that's a really clean example. 
and uh, 475 free shipping took that one home i think that's a very fair price given the condition of that one that's a that's a beautiful blue snaggle tooth ungraded that I, I think would grade pretty highly i mean me personally i think this would grade it at an 80 but the grading companies all of them they grade these super strict as i just covered in a recent video on that cas 70 grade that i thought looked better than a 70 that sold and i think that sold for seven or eight hundred bucks if memory serves but ungraded 475 i think that's a very very fair price next up a beautiful obi-wan kenobi white hair this is a variant i don't have in my collection yet but that, this one looked pretty clean the biggest problem with obi-wans is the hands and this one is no exception you can see some wear to the thumb uh, both hands seem to have a little bit of wear to it a little bit of wear on the paint on the head on the head uh, as well as the beard uh, but probably like an 80 grade i'd say uh, that one sold for 105 canadian dollars or about 78 us dollars plus shipping i think that's a very fair price um, for a nice clean looking obi-wan kenobi with white hair uh, next up i always i don't know something about this photo that just made me laugh it looks like a dog sleeping next to the fire. He just looks like he's resting. But this is an ATAT -AT walker. So I did include some vehicles uh, in this batch of items. But uh, it was it was advertised as complete with the box and the inserts. It sold for 265 pounds or about 309 US dollars plus shipping. The shipping was not cheap, 75 US bucks for that. But uh, this ATAT -AT just it just reminds me of a dog napping. It's just such, such a funny looking photo. Uh, but anyway, another data point there for a complete ATAT -AT walker with the box, uh, which is in rough shape, and the inserts. Next up was an Orange Snake Yoda. It did have, as, as is typical, it did have a little bit of wear on the hands. That's the first place to always look on these, on these Yodas. The face looked pretty good, really clean. Kind of reddish cherry eyes, light green head, Orange Snake. That one sold for $73 bucks plus $5 shipping. This is another figure I've got coming back from... CAS, but I think mine's the brown snake, and it's an unpainted belt. Uh, and I paid quite a bit more than that than I paid for than this price. But this is probably like an 80 grade, uh, 73 bucks plus five bucks. I think or five dollars shipping. I think that's a very fair price. This is one that I did pick up. This is mine. Um, <clears throat> this was a stealthy auction. I don't know if I necessarily got a great deal on it, but it was so clean that I couldn't pass it up. And that's the die cast cloud car i finally did pick one up and this one looked really good the, the things to really look for on the die cast cloud car is on the canopy these are always scratched up right right around these little edges here because they get roughed up uh those are the number one spots for those to get roughed up and then this centerpiece also usually has a lot of paint wear or it has factory paint that's just slapped on there the white the white paint on the very back right here this piece the, the sometimes the white can just flow everywhere and and it really causes problems with it so this one was super clean it was at auction and i said i'm gonna bid on this because i want to loose grade it the only defect was this little chip right there that i found on it uh great photos nice high res photos but that's a really clean example i'm expecting it to score an 80 plus with collector archive services i love how our uh, collector archive loose grades these and so i'm going to send this one in to get graded it hasn't arrived yet but I'm assuming it'll probably be about an 80 plus, but <clears throat> I paid $40, but the, the kicker was $17 shipping and it probably cost him four bucks to ship this thing. I mean, you know, I knew I was overpaying for it. So I paid $57 plus taxes. So I probably paid about $61 all in. I'm not saying it's a fair deal, but it is really tough to find a super clean die cast cloud car. I, I probably, there was one I missed that sold for like 30 bucks because I, I just forgot about it and I, I was kicking myself because it, it literally sold for less than 30 bucks, I think. And that was about six months ago. So I, I've had a, I had a search set up for it. I knew that nobody else would bid on this because it was overpriced, but I was willing to pay it because I'm not spending much now, but $61 or so for a tough to find near mint plus cloud car die cast. Yes, I decided to buy it. So well, you know, it'll it probably take them about a year to get graded at CIS. They take forever with these kind of customs. But um, I finally did get the die-cast cloud car. So that was my, my purchase there. Next up, interesting dark purple PBP Dengar. That one sold for $23.25, uh, 23 pounds and 25 pence. So uh, I, I'm probably mangling the terminology for for. Uh, the British currency, but uh, roughly about 28 US dollars is what this one sold for. Pretty clean overall. The, the biggest issue is always on the armor. You can see some light chipping on it. This is probably like a 75 grade at best, but this one is the Spanish PVP Dengar. You can see the very prominent scar on the right hand side there. 
huge scar on that one. That's a big, big scar. So this is one I've already got in my collection, but I thought that was a pretty fair deal for a 75 grade-ish Spanish Dengar with the pale face and the dark purple armor. Uh, next up was an IG-88. Uh, pretty clean looking example. This one is the no COO version. Uh, really clean. I think it was the no COO. No, I take that back. I'm sorry. I was looking at the front. This is the Hong Kong. Hong Kong, 1980. And I, this looks like the silver uh, with the hollow eyes. You can see the very prominent hollow eyes there on his head below the red dots. So this is the hollow eyes, silver, Hong Kong, COO IG-88 and is very clean overall. The big thing is to look for is the bandolier. That black bandolier can often usually has lots of paint rubs. This one was very clean. This is probably an 80 plus or an 80, 85. That one sold for 46 bucks plus $5 shipping. I thought that was a very fair price. Next up was a beautiful Princess Leia Bespin. Uh, this is the uh, crew neck version and uh, she's got a big hair hanging off of her face there. I don't know what's going on there. You might want to clean up your figures before you, you photograph them uh, for eBay, but pretty clean overall, probably like an overall 80. And uh, that one sold for 51 bucks plus $5 shipping. I thought this was a great deal on a 21B. Uh, and you know, the, the torso, clear torso piece has no discoloration. All the paint looks to be in great shape. This is the semi-metallic version, I believe, and is complete with the correct non-repro medical staff. And that one sold for $27 bucks plus $5, $5.50 shipping. So I think, you know, you can get a really nice, clean example of these figures uh, if you're patient and you keep an eye out. Eh, I take that back. I, look, I forgot about this piece on the back here. It's got a little rub right there. That might clean off. That might clean off. I, I don't think that's paint. So that, you know, that, that could potentially clean off, but that's the only defect I found. That's probably like an eight, you know, let's just, let's assume that that little blemish does not come off of the back of that 2-1-B droid. Probably an 80, probably an 80 overall. But uh, if, that, if that cleaned off, though, I, I think it would score higher than that. But uh, 27 bucks plus 5 bucks shipping, you, you know, it's pretty low risk. I think that's a pretty good buy. Next up, this I had in my what to buy video. It did not last long. It sold very quickly thereafter. This is the painted faced Hong Kong General Maydeen. Look how clean this figure is. That is super clean. And I'm glad somebody picked it up, whoever got it. Congratulations. But uh, 20 bucks free shipping. You can't beat that price for a beautiful. And this kind of goes to my premise for this video that I forgot to mention at the beginning of it. If you're looking for loose figures to get in near mint plus condition, to eventually grade if you like loose grading not everyone does i get that but if you do return of the jedi figures are really easy to get cheap and uh and it makes a lot of sense to, to go after those because there were so many of them by the end you know kenner was in its absolute heyday during the return of the jedi they produced those figures like crazy and they're easy to find in near mint plus unplayed with condition i mean that's just a fact uh, because it was towards the end of the run they were produced in massive numbers and you can get lots of Return of the Jedi figures, and I've got more of them here for you. I mean, this one was a beautiful Nikto. Look how beautiful this Nikto is. Gorgeous figure. Gorgeous condition. 20 bucks plus $4.95 shipping. So I think, you know, if you're into loose grading, buy the Return of the Jedi line of figures, loose, ungraded, and grade them yourself. You're going to save a lot of money. A lot of money. Here was a beautiful Wicket. That one sold for 61 bucks free shipping. And this one was super clean, great condition, probably would grade an 85. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, a, a graded 85 wicket, loose graded, can be $200 or more. Why not pay 61 bucks and pay the 35 bucks shipping yourself and see what you get? So, uh, just think in general, with any kind of Return of the Jedi figure, here's, a, here's an AT-ST driver. This one did have nose rub. This is probably at best, an, uh, I'd say an 80 at best. It's got some rub on the belt and then nose rub. So, this one's not super clean. But, uh, the, the, but I, I think people are paying... A lot of money for this one because of the weapon. I mean, you can match that weapon with the number of figures there. So that weapon is very, very pricey just by itself. But that one still sold for 84 bucks or about 112 Canadian. But you got on the on the ATST driver, this is not a super clean example. You can see lots of little paint specks on the back. You gotta look for the nose, the nose rub, the hand rubs, uh, the boot rubs down there at the bottom. And then the emblems on his arms. And, and the, the torso on this one looks like it might even be discolored. So this is probably not a great example to show you. But, you know, again, $83, $84, that's about what that weapon goes for by itself these days. I mean, as crazy as that sounds. I mean, that little weapon has just gotten so expensive. Uh, this was a nice, clean-looking B-Wing pilot. Uh, the big thing on this one, on the B-Wing pilot, is to look at the chest apparatus. That silver paint app often has lots of rubs on the buttons. Uh, again, the weapon, you got to look for that one. But uh, this one was a pretty clean example, probably an 80 plus, maybe an 80. 
Uh, that one sold for 54 bucks plus 530 shipping. This lot, I wanted to point this lot out. Look how gorgeous this lot was. Unbelievable. It had blue snaggletooth, lots of first 12 figures, Princess Leia, Boba Fett, some droids, even included a, a, a CAS graded figure. Um, just an awesome lot with lots of weapons. It even included a trading card, a Boba Fett sticker. So really nice lot of, of figures across all the different uh, toy lines from Star Wars all the way to The Return of the Jedi. Um, and that lot sold for $935. And the big driver, of course, was the Blue Snaggletooth. I mean, this was not mint by any means, but, you know, that's probably like a $350, $400 figure minimum. Um, so that the, the vast majority of that price was related to the uh, to the Blue Snaggletooth. So just an interesting lot. And then finally, we've got a lot of Ewoks cartoon, the complete set with the coins, all the accessories. Look how beautiful this lot is. They all look unplayed with. And this is another line that is very, very expensive to buy loose graded. So, you know, and, and most people didn't play with these. It's been my kind of experience. They're not that difficult to find unplayed with and near mint like this. But you're going to pay a lot of money for them. I mean, this this lot sold for $1,200 plus $4.95 shipping. But it included all the accessories, near mint plus figures, unplayed with, and the coins. So $1,200 is the going rate for a full line of loose Ewoks cartoon figures. And I guarantee you that whoever bought this lot is going to grade every single one of these with the coin next to it. But that's, that is a beautiful set a beautiful artwork i just love the art style for these so anyway just some uh so just some more loose complete figure sales as you guys try to fill out your collections whether you loose grade them or not you know there's lots of decent deals out there to be had you just got to keep your eye out for them thanks so much for watching and i'll be back soon